Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Kyla and my channel is just a plethora of all things that I love and today I've got more Rainbow High Leaks for you. So in the previous video for Rainbow High Leaks, I covered the six winter break line dolls that were leaked via Instagram and these are the six sketches of the series three dolls that were leaked via Instagram. I'm not savvy enough to figure out how to get you know, leaks on my own. So I just rely on the awesome techies over on Instagram. I'd seen this posted like a couple times, like reposted and stuff. So I'm not really sure who the original like, leaker, I guess you could say of these were, but whoever you are, you are incredible because I'm super impatient when it comes to doll lines. So whenever anything is leaked, I'm like, I need to see. So we've known the colors for this line for a little while now. And I'm going to say with full confidence that this is most likely going to be my favorite series in Rainbow High so far because I love every single color in this line. So let me go ahead and read you guys a little description. It's also on the screen if you want to follow along. So Rainbow High welcomes their new students. Each doll is fully articulated and comes with two mix and match fashions and accessories. The colors in this line are as follows. Orchid, Ice, Mint, Cheryl Mayer, who is Marigold, and she is the roommate of Stella Monroe, and we've seen her a lot in the show, but we're going to talk about her in a minute. Um, Peach and Rose. So I love every single one of these colors. I think this is awesome. I want you guys to keep in mind, though, that these are just sketches. These aren't even, like, boxed prototypes. They are strictly sketches. So skin tone, hair color, eye color, all those kinds of things, outfit design, makeup, could totally change by the time these dolls reach final production, so that might be a good or a bad thing. Also, I want you guys to remember to please keep your comments positive and polite down below because these are strictly my opinions on these leaks, and I want to know yours, so leave your opinions down below. Now, remember guys, these are not the best quality since they are leaks. I tried to get the clearest pictures, but you know, some are clearer than others. So we're going to start off with Marigold, Cheryl Mayer, because she's the only one we actually have a name for. Now, we've seen her a lot in the show, and it was confirmed that her name is Cheryl, and she is our Marigold girly. Now, they have definitely changed up her appearance from the show, which I've seen a lot of people are glad about because her outfit in the show is just like the Marigold version of Bella Parker's signature outfit, which I love, but I'm very glad that they decided to go with this plaid look here. I love the little belt. I love the like, oh my gosh, I don't want to say, maybe, yeah, pleated skirt, like the, I don't know how to explain it, but I love the bottom of her skirt. I love the knee-high socks. This picture I was able to find, I could not get the full, um, you know, look of her shoes. They, these guys are making me love the um, socks with the heels look. Not that I would ever do this. If you do that, you are very brave and you are not like me. So if you do that, I absolutely envy you in the best way possible. But I love this first outfit. I love that they changed up her hair. Um, I think it looks really cool. I love the like flip on her right side. I think it's really, really cute. I'm glad that they're um, doing some new hairstyles. My favorite Rainbow High hairstyle is definitely Stella's with her two little pigtails. So I'm very, very excited for Cheryl. Um, in my like end ranking of my first impressions of all these dolls, I don't know how high she will rank, but I'll be doing that at the end of the video. But I do think she's really cute and I'm very glad that they changed her look slightly from the way she appears in the show. Next up we have Ice. Now the rest of them do not have confirmed names so I have no idea. I'm just going to call them like their color for right now. So this is Ice. I love the sweater. I think the sweater is probably my favorite part about this first outfit. The only thing about these sketches is we don't get second outfit sneak peeks yet which I mean is fine because these are just sketches. I love the sweater. I really like the belt. I don't know how I feel about the skirt. I mean, it's cute. I'm not quite sure about these silver looking shoes either, but I think they're okay. Her hair looks like the regular signature rainbow high hair, which I mean, it could look different, you know, when she's actually in doll form. Um, the one thing I do want to say, I've seen a lot of people talk about this. Her skin tone may clash depending on how icy, if you will, her color is actually going to be. And I've seen some people make edits of her and then another doll on this list as to where their skin tones are darker. And I think ice would definitely benefit from having a darker skin tone just because it makes a lot more sense. Like Karma, how Karma Nichols is a darker skinned doll with the neon green. It just, 
it works so well. And I absolutely love Karma. She's one of my favorite dolls. So my only complaint about Ice really is, okay, I have two. Her hair is kind of generic looking, but it's okay. And then her skin tone, I definitely can see why it would be better if she had a darker skin tone. Next on the list, we have Miss Peach. And this doll is gorgeous. I love her little barrette clips in her hair. I love how poofy her hair looks, honestly. I love her makeup and I love, love, love her eye color from what I can see. Her dress. Actually, you know what? I think it's a top and a skirt and I love how beautiful it is. And I, I really hope she comes with this little purse because that would be awesome. And in the the full like picture, the full shot of this photo, she is actually wearing tennis shoes. So she doesn't have heels, which I think that's actually really cool because the only other doll really that comes with, you know, Violet, not Violet, oh my god, Sunny and Jade have tennis shoes. I'm trying to think if anybody else does. It's not coming to mind, but um, I think that's really cool because she seems to be like really stylish and like she knows, you know, what looks good. Like I just get this vibe from Miss Peach and she's awesome. I love her skin tone. I think it's Oh gosh, it might be a Skylar or a Kaya. She gives me Kaya vibes, which is awesome because I love Kaya. So I, I have no complaints about Peach. I think she's really, really cool. Here we have another one that I am so stoked about, and that is Miss Rose. I This was probably the color I was the most excited about. And let's just talk about her little boots for a second because these are going to be awesome. I already know. Look at her jacket. Look at her dress. And I love, so her hair has like an ombre effect going on and the style is different from, you know, kind of what we've seen before. And I love the idea of her just the ombre hair and how it works so well in her outfit and the boots are probably my favorite part of this outfit I absolutely love her skin tone I think she's beautiful she's super super unique looking with her hair and these shoes I keep talking about the shoes but they're really something different that Rainbow High hasn't done and I think Miss Rose here is honestly the most detailed in series three just from you know what we've seen so far and I don't know if they'll name her like Rose or like Rosalie or something but I'm really Really curious to see like what everybody's name will be but I I adore this doll second to last we have mint and mint is the other doll that I have seen people make edits of with a darker skin tone and honestly I think mint with a darker skin tone is so beautiful I think it just makes sense I don't know maybe Maybe these were just, you know, composite sketches. We have no idea, but mint with a darker skin tone would be something super awesome. I also want to point out that her hair appears to be a bit different. It's kind of crimped, I guess you could say. So we haven't seen rainbow highs with crimped hair yet, so that would be awesome. I do like the, it appears to be gold in her jacket, and her skirt is... Her skirt is cute. It kind of reminds me of Bella's, but that's totally okay. Her shoes appear to be adorable as well. So I think she's going with like a mint um, with some accents of gold. I think she's really cute. I, again, her skin tone is the only thing for me because I just, I feel that like with ice, and I know a lot of people can relate to this, like it just feels that their colors will clash with their skin tones. So it just, I don't know. We will see what MGA does, but mint... She's all right. She's definitely not my favorite. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I saved my personal favorite for last, and that is Miss Orchid. And I don't even like the color Orchid, but this doll is making me love it. So she does have a little, you know, thanks to this Instagram account for clearer photos. This just came from another um, Instagram account. So I just, you know, so shout out to this person for giving clearer photos because even though these don't seem super clear, like they're definitely a lot better than the initial release. So anyway, let's talk about this girl. Yeah, she's got the generic rainbow high hair, but we can look past that. She appears to have a little, you know, like purse going on. That's adorable. I kind of hope these guys come with accessories. I love her eye color from what I can see. Her makeup is gorgeous. I'm not a big fan of the oversized sweatshirt look with skirts, but like what the heck? This doll is making me love this so much. Um, a couple people are wondering if this is separate, and it most likely is just given the level of detail that MGA gives Rainbow High dolls. I love these boots. I am so excited for these boots. They're probably the thing I'm most excited about. I love this doll. 
this is the one I'm definitely going to buy first. I'm saying this now, but if I end up buying a different one first, because remember, these are just sketches, so they might appeal to us differently, you know, when we see the actual doll. But I can tell this doll is going to be one of the first couple I buy in this series because as of right now, I do plan to complete this series just because I love them all very, very much. All right, guys, so here we just have another group shot of them, and I'm going to share with you guys my first impression ranking, you know, just based on their sketches. So my favorite is Orchid, then Rose, Peach, Cheryl, who's Marigold, Mint, and Ice. That is subject to change, obviously based on, you know, impression of the actual doll, but for right now, that's what I'm standing by. Let me know how you guys rank these dolls down below, because I would absolutely love to know, like, how you guys are feeling about them, which ones do you plan to get, which ones are you not 100% sold on yet. Um, again, these are supposed to come out in the fall, I believe. I don't know, maybe we'll get them sooner. Just because I say that because I'm an impatient person, but I don't think we will. So anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and going over all these leaks. I absolutely love doing these types of videos. So look forward to more of those because we've got some more MGA leaks from the lines that I collect. So those will be coming very, very soon. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody!